In this video, we're going to look at doing Google image searches for pictures, photographs, uh, and specifically clip art. And we'll look at how to bring that those images or that clip art into Photoshop and then how to use the magic eraser on it to get rid of unwanted uh, areas uh, of the image. We'll also look at uh, bringing in uh, images that don't work so well and find the solution is sometimes just going and looking for another image. So the first thing I'll do is go to File, New, and I'll open up a new canvas. And I'll go to I'll make it red. Sounds good. Click on my paint bucket and make it red. I'll go out here to Google Images. So <clears throat> when we're doing searches with Google Images, uh, for instance, if we were looking for a car, we type in car. You can see we get lots of pictures of cars, and a lot of them are actual photographs of cars. And that's maybe what we're looking for. Uh, but for the advertisements and the signs and the thing we're, things we're doing uh, in this class, uh, at least at the moment, we want pictures a little bit easier to work with and we want to eliminate the photographs from our search. So how we can do that is by typing the word clip art after car. Now watch how my search changes. Now I'll just get graphic images of cars. I've eliminated the pictures. You can see the difference between the, the two searches. All right. So I'll type lemonade. When I type lemonade, you can see I get some images, graphics, and I get others, photographs of, uh, of you know, lemonade in pictures on tables. So I'm going to refine this search by typing the word clip art after it. And I, again, I always recommend typing the word clip art when you're looking for a graphic image. It will filter out all the photographs. So here I have a bunch. Now I've looked at these before and I know which ones work and which ones don't. And I'll show you the one one uh, example of one that works well first. So I'll click on this. And this may or may not be one that works well. We'll see. And I'll click on full size image. And you always want to click on full size image to get the whole thing. I'll copy it and I'll go up to edit and paste it in. This one's going to work really well. We notice you have a white uh, white area that surrounds it, and that's really easy to get rid of. It's easy to get rid of and works well because we want the black outline of the lemonade glass and the straw and the lemon. So the tool we're going to look at in this, this tutorial is the uh, magic eraser tool. So you'll notice there's an eraser right here above my paint bucket. It's about the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 tool down. And you can right click on it and see there's a couple different erasers. You want to go to the magic eraser tool. And you'll notice it's an eraser and it's got kind of like a little uh, sparkle on it, maybe. And what this will do is when you click on an area, it will get rid of that color. So if I click here, click here, click here, and click here, I've gotten rid of most of that border. Now if I really want to hone in on it here, I can get a little bit larger by zooming in. And I could go down here should be able to get rid of some of that white on there and there was a little bit here on the straw can get rid of and maybe a little there now it'll start to get rid of black too if I were to hit black so let me zoom out so anything you touch that is that color will disappear so if I were to click on the insides of the, the lemon lemon slice I'd get rid of those and I don't want to do that so I'll step backward okay and I'm just gonna move this picture up to the upper left because I wanna this 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 image worked this clip art worked real well alright so I'm gonna back up I'm gonna try to find a uh, a clip art that that won't work so well and I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna get one here that won't work so well so notice I'll back up here one step. Whenever I get an image that I want, I always go over here to the right and click Full Size Image. That will just put that image alone on the screen. I'll go to Copy, and I'll go to Edit, Paste, and here you can see. This is an example of an image that's not going to work so well for what I'm trying to do. Because what I really want is, is something that looks like this with the black outline on it. Now watch what happens. I'll grab my Magic Eraser tool. 
and notice that this black border around it is the same color as the outline that's around the glass and the straw and the lemon. So when I click, I lost the outline. You know, and if I were to go get rid of this black and this black and this black, I, I really have an entirely different image than here. Uh, and this is more desirable because you can just uh, you can see the glass a little bit better. You can still see the straw here, but the black outline makes it stand out, and it uh, it's really what we're we're after. So <clears throat> I'll delete that layer, <clears throat> bring this one back down into the center, and and that sums it up. To to quickly review the Google image search, uh, you want to use the word clip art after a search. And then once you've done that, after you, you've found what you want, you want to click for the picture and then always click on full size image to give you uh, that image alone on the screen. And then you can copy and paste it. And then you use the magic eraser around the image to get rid of uh, undesirable parts or the border in this case. <clears throat>